Can we just talk for one minute about how bad this lighting is? No matter what I do with it, I cannot figure it out. It's probably the worst lighting on YouTube. I'm Hands up if you have the worst lighting on YouTube. This girl. Yeah. Hey guys! So, I thought that it could be a fun idea to start doing some book reviews on this channel. Because, let's be honest, I talk about personal development all the time and I tell you you're probably so tired of hearing it and you're bored and yeah 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 we get it cliche blah 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 but I want to show you guys that there really are some super cool personal development books they're not all cheesy they're not all the books that you know you grew up on seeing older people reading and you thought what is this crap there are a lot of really fun really great options to help young adults like ourselves so today this kind of makes no sense, but the book that I'm going to talk about I don't actually have the copy of because I have lent it out, but the book that we are going to talk about today is called Personality Plus, and I'm going to insert a picture right here that's somewhere, somewhere over here. Um, but the reason I want to talk about this book is because yesterday I went out to dinner with my family and we were just talking about you know how different personalities clash and how families there's so many different personalities but you love each other and it's great and blah 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 and we got to talking about personality plus this is a book that I actually read about I'd say probably two years ago and I have not stopped to this day recommending that book to anyone who will listen because I really think it's that good so the reason why I love personality plus so much is because it breaks down individuals in your life or individuals in the world into four categories so you have I don't know what it is like the phlegmatic the choleric the Sagittari Sagittarian um, and then the Mel Mel melancholy um, and so basically what it is is you have the personality that is motivated by fun and everything they do is how can they have fun how can they share with people how can they entertain then you have the personality that's really laid back and will always put themselves last in order to put others first and will always do things for others then you have the personality that is just really strong and driven by competition and driven by leadership and then you have the um, personality that is driven by kind of organizing and tidying and just being a pretty predictable person in life. Now, one of the reasons I love this book so much is because I didn't just feel like I was reading. It really felt like an interactive experience. So every chapter I read, I could think of somebody right away in my life who had that personality type. For instance, my husband is a powerful choleric. He is very strong. He is very competitive. He is a leader naturally. I am a pearl or a pragmatic where I am very, I will always put what you want before what I want. So something as simple as where are we going to dinner tonight, I will say it doesn't matter whatever you want to do to something way more extreme. I will always put other people first and I just kind of am more quiet and in the background I don't like to be out there and loud. Um, my mother-in-law is a huge Sag. I don't remember, pardon me, if it's a Sagittarian, Sagittarian, I don't know what it's called, but she is a major Sagittarian issues, la la la, because she is motivated by fun. For example, she loves to cook, she loves to host parties, she loves to entertain, so her stories are very entertaining, and you know, when she talks, it's very loud, it's very lots of laughter, and so. I just thought that was fun that I could read these different personalities and pinpoint somebody in my life who matched that personality. Another reason I love this book is because being a pearl, I don't think they use term the term pearl in this book, um, but there is belief that there's different names for the different personality types. So being a pearl, I've always kind of grown up thinking that I was weak, I was too emotional, like I couldn't do confrontation, I hated that I was always crying, and reading that book made me realize that Yes, that is true, like I am a sensitive person, but I have so many strengths that I kind of always push to the side because I thought I'm just weak, there's no use for me, there's no good here. And so I feel like this book, it's really great because it'll tell you some of the personality traits that you are known for that maybe are a little negative and need to be worked on, but it also tells you what you are really great at and why the world needs these personalities. So I like that it breaks it down and shows you, yes, these personalities are so, so, so different, 
but the world needs all of these personalities for different reasons. I could ramble on about this book all day long, but seriously, if you are a person who is around people all day long, or you are a person who desires to work around people, or to for people, or you work in a business where you are constantly dealing with your own customers, you own your own business, I highly, 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 highly recommend reading this book because you will look at each individually completely different and you will have a different approach for handling each individual. So that is a short book review for today. Check it out. I don't even know. You might even be able to find it on YouTube, but it's a super cheap book. So head to your local bookstore, find it, pick it up, and leave a comment down below letting me know if you have read this book, if you plan to read it. I would love to hear what you guys think. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!